Wanda, it's 742. So? So, today's show, Baby Tips. Ah, uh, right. Thanks, Matt. That's something every caring parent should know. Oh. Coming up next, Martha Stewart celebrates Easter with her homemade corn husk crucifix. Ah, oh, we missed it. Do we still have that address for buying transcripts? Daryl, those segments are always the same. Give them love and don't push on the soft spot. Ew, it is soft. Made you look. And be sure Zoe eats her apricots, I know. Love you. Bye. Bring back money. Shelby, see if something's stuck in there. Not with the bats. You'll dull the blades. Use your hand. Hi, Carl. Oh, hey, Daryl. What's this? Homemade hovercraft, huh? Hey, Jack! What? Is the engine hot? Well, if you would touch it instead of asking me questions, you'd know by now. Are you sure this is safe? Oh, yeah. I got a few bolts left over, but she seems solid. There we go! What, you gonna fly it here? Not fly, Daryl! Hover! Hey, Dad! Should I wear a helmet? Should I wear a helmet? Rodney, a helmet's extra weight! Think before you speak, son! You know, Carl, this seems very unsafe! Can't hear ya! Propeller! Anybody see those instructions? Ah, heck, I'll wing it! There you go. I tell you, Kenny, it's like I'm the only person who sees how dangerous the world is. I know Wanda thinks I'm a worrywart, but I can't help it. I've got a precious baby girl now, and her safety means everything to me. Yes! Touchdown! You're my witness. Did you hear a word I said? Yeah. Uh, I liked it too. Liked what? The movie. Book. Anecdote. Heartfelt confession. Right. Hey, make all posts. Yes! Hey, Mrs. Mack. Hi, Busy. Shouldn't you be in school? It's okay. I caught the history teacher staring at my legs. I own that guy. There's a pretty sight. Uh-huh. Oh, if Daryl asks, that's orange. But it's not. Yeah, but I told Daryl I'd feed Zoe some apricots, and she hates them, so I didn't. Wow, you keep things from Mr. Mack? I thought you guys had a good marriage. We do! So you made it work in spite of the lies. Busy, I'm only asking you to change the color of some poop. Fine, it's orange. Uh, Daryl's a great dad, but sometimes he makes me feel like I'm irresponsible. Then I remind myself that if you just trust your instincts, everything will work out. <gasps> Zoe's gonna be fine, Mrs. McPherson. Just a bump on the head. Oh. Oh, my God. I still can't believe I did this to her. Oh, relax. Happens all the time. Now, do you prefer your left or right side for the mugshot? You're gonna report me? I'm just kidding ya! <laughs> Come on. Zoe! Zoe! Uh, McPherson! Uh, Zo Zoe! Ba baby! Zoe! Oh, my darling, my sweet angel, are you okay? She's perfect, Mr. McPherson. Thank God. Look under the Band-Aid. Ah! Are those... stitches? Sure. Just a couple of neck bolts and the monster's complete. What? What? I'm kidding you! But I did take some x-rays and I think there's something you should see. It's my family on vacation in Boca! Huh? Look at them! <laughs> that sweet, harmless little creature trusted me, and I wounded her. Accidents happen. I'm not a mother. I'm a baby maimer. Honey, don't beat yourself up. The stitches are barely noticeable. Oh. 
Oh, I swear, I just took my hand off her for a second. How was I supposed to know she could flip off like that? Well, it is in the book. What book? Uh, never mind. The important thing is she's fine. There's a book? Changing table safety. Oh, I might have skimmed that one. I highlighted the main points. Okay, I didn't read it. And that's why you're a non-baby maimer, and I'm not. <laughs> Come on now, it's not your fault. In fact, the more I think about it, the real problem may be the house. We may need to make it more Wanda-proof. What? Uh, Baby-proof. Baby-proof. Oh. This house is a death trap. It can't be that bad, Mr. Saunders. I've been in the baby safety business 30 years. Frankly, your child is very lucky to be alive. But we've taken all kinds of precautions. Really? Well, yeah. Like these outlet covers. Is that what you call them? I call them throat plugs. You can't be serious. Well, what do we do? What do we do? Raise all outlets to 4.5 feet. The middle of the wall? That'll look terrible. Okay, keep them at baby level. Maybe this joint will get in-house beautiful. Give you something to read on that boring ambulance ride. We'll raise them. Daryl! Good. You need a safety gate here. But that's our family room. Mmm, nice Italian tile. Thank you. Also known as a horizontal plane impact point. What? What a cute baby. It's a lot funnier when Gallagher does it. This guy's a lifesaver. No straps. One earthquake and boom, right on Junior's coconut. Earthquakes? Here? The odds are like a billion to one. But not a billion to zero. You want to see your boy throw the winning touchdown in the Super Bowl someday? She's a girl. You want to see your girl knit a nice quilt one day? Uh, I guess so. Good. So you bathe her in here? She must have one hell of an immune system. What do you mean? Ah! You need a cap on the garbage disposal. Kids are magnets for flying projectiles of jagged food. Jagged food? That can't happen. Why don't you go to 8 Minden Road and ask little Stevie Krieger? Just try not to stare at his scar. Mm-hmm. Plastic dry cleaning bags. You don't have to do that. We believe you. It's more effective to see it. <clears throat> I gotta tell you, I feel so much better. You don't think this is all a bit excessive? No such thing as too much safety. I guess you're right. It's about keeping Zoe safe. Absolutely. Honey, what's the combination to the new toilet lock? Our anniversary. Honey, I have a more embarrassing question. Uh, what are you two doing today? I thought we might go to the playground. Oh. Unless you don't think it's safe. Oh, I didn't say that. There are those bees around the trash cans. Mm. We could go to the mall. The mall? Though they have those escalators. I guess a shoelace could get caught in one. Well, if you say so. Maybe we'll just stay home. That's a great idea. Mwah. It's open, Melinda. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hi, Wanda has a baby. Well, she's still getting used to all this new stuff. Hey, cool! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, padded walls. The kids have wanted these ever since we visited Grandpa. Yeah, Daryl thought the house should be safer. Carl's a safety nut, too. He puts the loaded guns on the top shelf, no exceptions. You can't be too careful with your most precious possessions. Uh-oh, I think Mommy better take your temperature. It's just a sneeze. Yeah, and before I would have let it pass, but Daryl's got me spooked. Here we go, Zoe. Oh, you do it that way. <laughs> so, you see the Richard Gere movie? No. What made you think of that? I don't know. Wasn't Richard Gere in Deliverance? I think that was Ned Beatty. Oh, that's right. By the way, how long is the channel? About 50 kilometers. Huh? You got some kind of lock on the toilet. Oh, do you need the combination? No, nah, I'm good. Your tub needs a wrench. OK, let's have a look. That's funny. There's no reading. Where's the mercury? Didn't that thing have a tip? I know where it is. <laughs> I put 
poisonous liquid mercury in my daughter. I'm a monster. I'm a sicko. Wanda, take it easy. The best thing we can all do is stay calm. <laughs> hey, are you thought of something? Maybe putting mercury in Zoe's butt will give her superpowers. Rodney! I read a lot of comic books. Superpowers are usually brought on by an accident that should kill you. Oh! Let's see. What would be a good name? Mercury Girl? That's too easy. The Thermominator? Oh! <laughs> Hello? Yeah, Becky, do you have those reports I asked for? I think you have the wrong number. Wanda? Daryl? Oh, how do you like that? I pushed the wrong number on my speed dial. Well, now that I got you, what's going on? Oh, the usual. How's Zoe? Oh, a little stopped up. Hmm, maybe you should give her some iron. I'm way ahead of you. Wait, I got it. We'll call her Glovut. Glovut, Glovut, Glovut. What is that? Uh, Howard Stern? Can you get it out, Doctor? Don't worry, Mrs. McPherson. I've spent hundreds of hours practicing this very procedure. At medical school? No, playing Operation. You know, to this day, I can't take out the funny bone without lighting up that nose. Doctor, please. Oh, right. Okay, almost there. Ah, Mazel tov. Nurse, wrap this in a blanket and take it to the nursery. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's funny. What about the mercury? Oh, I wouldn't worry. The mercury in thermometers isn't the dangerous kind you always hear about. So she's okay? Mrs. McPherson, trust me. You could not have chosen a better kind of mercury to inject into your daughter's anus. See? You did good. But just to be safe, let's take a look at the x-ray, shall we? Oh, my God. I've never seen this before. What? What? A Scotsman buying drinks for the house. Ah! Huh? Ah! Huh? Two visits to the emergency room in two days. This is awful. Zoe's fine. But do you know what my life will be like if Daryl finds out about this? Wanda, come say night-night to Zoe. Against the wall. Have you received any items from an unknown person? No. Follow the blue line. Identification. Enjoy your visit. Zoe's daddy can't know that we went to the hospital today. But we did. Yes, but we're not going to tell him. Doesn't God want us to tell the truth? Usually, but not this time. How come? Never mind how come. Hey, if I'm going to burn in hell, I want to know the reason. Mrs. McPherson wants us to burn in hell! <laughs> okay, okay. I know. Let's think of this as a game where if you don't tell Mr. McPherson what we did today, you win. I know a good name for that game. Lying. Melinda? Listen, kids. Nobody's going to hell. That's just something your father and I say to get you to do stuff. You didn't have to sell out your whole moral code. I still got the monster under the bed. rock a -bye, baby, in the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks... Never mind. Hello there, my two favorite ladies. Uh, hi, honey. How was your day? Uh, miserable. When I got back to the office after lunch, I was fiddling with my key. Broke right off in the lock. Do you know what a pain in the butt that is? <laughs> I can imagine. Come on, Zoe. Let's go set the table. Does she seem heavier to you? You know, Wanda, I haven't been totally honest with you. Really? When Zoe had her accident, I think I did kind of blame you. And I'm really sorry, because that was wrong. Whew! <laughs> There's a load off my chest. I can sleep now. Night! <sighs> Good old honesty. Better get used to me. <clears throat> Good old lion.
Well, back to the coal mine. Drive safely. Hi. Hi, Rodney. What's new? Hmm, what's new? What's new? Let me think. Has anything happened that might interest you? <laughs> Daryl, don't you have to go? I can't back over them. Gun it. They'll move. Saw a great ER yesterday. ER wasn't on yesterday. Sure it was. Special encore presentation. <laughs> So, you into astronomy? Rodney. Because I hear Mercury's in Uranus. <laughs> Kids, half the time they speak gibberish, don't they? Uh-huh. Well, see ya. See ya. How's it going, Mrs. Mack? Oh, Busy, you were right. I should never have lied to Daryl. I feel awful. Oh, I'm so sorry. If you're telling the truth. I'm so dizzy, my head is spinning. Mr. McPherson, Dr. Gruber. Dr. Gruber, hello. So, should I expect your wife and Zoe for their daily visit? <laughs> a daily visit? If she comes in twice more this week, she'll get a free turkey. What? Kidding! Whoo, tough stoplight. Is my window down? Hello? Seriously, though. How's Zoe feeling? Uh, her head seems okay. And what about that little rump of hers? Any discomfort? No more than usual. Well, I owe her one. Last night, hernia operation, big crowd in the operating theater. I told the story of pulling that broken thermometer tip out of Zoe's butt. Killed! Bye! Wanda took Zoe to the emergency room and didn't tell me? Who knows what goes on when I'm not around? Excuse me, would you gentlemen mind watching my baby for a minute? We'll call you Spike. Hello? Why, yes, I do hate my long distance carrier. And that's the story of Pulp. Feel free to take home any wood chips you see around you as souvenirs. Oh, free wood chips. I've got to find Zoe. Wanda? Zoe? <laughs> Stupid baby gate. Want to do it again? Watch, <laughs> Mommy. Hi. <sighs> Heads up! <laughs> you think this makes my nose look big? That little button? Come on. Thanks for everything, Doctor. No, thank you. I'll be here all week. Remember to tip your nurses. Oh, Daryl, this is all my fault. I never should have lied. No, I made you paranoid by being such a watchdog. I just wish we could cover Zoe in bubble wrap so she never gets hurt. I don't think we're here to keep her from falling down. I think we're here to pick her up. That's so sweet. It's on the wall behind you. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's cute, isn't it? Doctor? Doctor?